In the last presentation, we completed binary addition. In this lecture, we will learn binary subtraction. The two binary numbers are 11011. This is the first binary number. 10110 is the second binary number. I will magnify this subtraction by including the weights of different positions. Weight of this position is 2 raised to power 0. Weight of this position is 2 raised to power 1. Weight of this position is 2 raised to power 2. And for this position we have 2 raised to power 3. And for this position we have 2 raised to power 4. Along with this coefficients, I will also write down the weights. I have already written them. So we can start with our subtraction directly. We will start subtracting the bits from right. So 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0 will give us 1. So we have 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 because 2 raised to power 0 is the weight of this position. 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 1. 0 minus 1 will give us minus 1. So we have to take borrow from the next bit. After taking borrow on this position, we have 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3. And uh, here we are left with 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3. This position is for 2 raised to power 2. So I will write down 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3 as 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2. Now we will add this 2 and 0. 2 plus 0 is 2. And then we will subtract 1 from it and this will give us 1. So we have 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2. 0 minus 0 is 0. And 1 minus 1 is also 0. So this is our answer and if you want to write down only the coefficients then let's see what we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is our answer. So subtraction is very simple. The only thing you have to keep in your mind is while taking borrow, borrow is 2, not 1. Because you are taking 1 from this position. Once you have this 1 on this position, it will change to 2. So 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So this is the only thing that you must know. Borrow is 2. If you know this thing, you will make no mistake in subtraction. This is the only important thing in binary subtraction. You can definitely cross check your answer. This first binary number is 27 in decimal. The second binary number is 22 in decimal. You can easily convert the binary number to decimal. You only have to add the weights. Weight of this position is 1, then 2, 4, 8 and 16. For the first number we have 16, 8, 2 and 1. We don't have 4 because we have a 0 on this position. So 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1 this will give us 27. In the same way you can find out the decimal equivalent of this binary number and from here we have 4 plus 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. So answer is 5 and when you subtract 22 from 27 we will have 5. So our answer is correct. Now we will move to next example, second example, this was first example. The first binary number is 1, 1, 1, 0 and the second binary number is 1, 1, 1 and we have to subtract. So let's start 0 minus 1, we have to take borrow from the next bit and here we have 2. As I have already told you when you take borrow take 2 because when this 1 moves to this position we have 2 so we are left with 0 here 2 minus 1 is 1 0 minus 1 we again have to take the borrow from the next bit so we have 2 instead of 0 we have 2 2 minus 1 is 1 again and here we are left with 0 0 minus 1 we again have to take borrow so we have 2 2 minus 1 is 1 and here we are left with 0 so the answer is 1 1 1 one 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 zero is fourteen in decimal. One 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 is seven in decimal. You already know. And fourteen minus seven is seven, and we have seven as the answer. So our answer is correct. Now we will move to homework problem. There is one homework problem for you. The first binary number is one zero one zero one, and the second binary number is one 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 one. Once you have your answer, post it in comment section. This is all for this presentation. See you in the next one.